Hello, this is Dr. Mark Miravalli. I am here at the Holy Trinity Abbey in Ireland with Anne Le Apostle. We are going to be providing a special extended program on the theme of this pamphlet called Heaven Speaks to Those Who Suffer from Financial Need. In light of the unprecedented financial crisis throughout the world, we want to bring you the words of Jesus and some of the saints which speak specifically to the needs of many families today and bring the consolation and wisdom of our Lord in the midst of our present financial crises. So we're going to begin by reading the first part of the message of Jesus, uh, which was given on December 17, 2006, and then uh, begin a process of Anne's commentary on these and the other messages related to this very important subject for today. These are the words of our Lord Jesus. And I quote, I speak today with such love in my heart. There are those among you who suffer from financial need. You do not have enough money to sustain your family. Perhaps you do not have what you need to buy food or to pay for your shelter needs. My friends, you are not forgotten. Heaven will not abandon you. I see your distress and recognize your need. I want to ask you to look at your situation fearlessly. Ask yourself if you are in real danger of going without food. Are you in real danger of losing your place of shelter? Consider these two things as your basic needs. I am asking that you begin to think of your time on earth differently. Consider exactly what your body needs to continue in service to me. Some of my children on earth have been blessed with great abundance. In some cases, this great abundance has created a craving for more that is undermining heaven's goals for the soul. Additionally, this craving for more has become a distraction diverting some of God's children from the task of growing in holiness. My beloved ones, if this describes you, if you routinely have enough food to eat and a safe place to rest, yet you continue to worry about money, then you must change your standard immediately. What will you do when it comes time to leave all of this? Will you object when Jesus does not supply you with these extra things in heaven? You may not want to come to heaven because there is no excess of material goods here. This is silly, of course, and I am being playful with you, but please try to understand my point. Excessive material goods are a distraction. If you have financial needs that can be rectified by cutting back on your standard of living, do so at once. I will help you, and I promise you this today because this is very important for you and your family. I am asking all to reconsider their needs and use less when possible. Let's stop here and get Anne's commentary on this first part of the message of Jesus about financial need. There's Anne? so much. You don't know where to begin. But, okay, let's say this. Start, start with this. He wants us to consider our time on earth differently. So <clears throat> maybe we had an expectation of how our life would be lived out. Maybe we thought we would work this many years in this kind of a house with this kind of a car, and then we would retire, and then we would do these things. Well, it's like someone took a deck of cards and threw it up in the air for many people now. That plan that they thought was the plan for their life has been changed. Mm -hmm. But that's okay. It's God's plan for their life. And that's what we have to begin to accept. We talked about St. Joseph, and he had to flee with Mary. He became a refugee. I bet that wasn't his ideal plan. Mm -hmm. I bet the idea of having to put his wife on a, on a long journey, heavily pregnant, and flee to another country was not the best plan for his family. You know, that's what he got. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. every generation has struggles. We are having a struggle. It's how we deal with it. So many people I know, we have so many prayer intentions coming in about this. We're losing our house. We're losing this. We're losing our summer home. We're losing, or we can't pay our mortgage. You know, we can't buy groceries. Um, 
And there's always that temptation to be kind of in shock and to, I don't want to say abandon holiness, but in their paralysis, mm -hmm. uh, forget that God has a plan of service for each day, regardless of their condition. You know, mm -hmm. So this is the new normal. Yeah, he seems to point on two specific areas. One is, do you have food? And shelter. Mm -hmm. Number two, do you have shelter? Mm -hmm. If you have these, mm -hmm. uh, be at peace. Mm -hmm. um, and he is causing, calling us to re-examine our priorities mm -hmm. and our standards. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's, that's good for us. It's a positive yeah. thing to, to, to detach us from material things. It, Perhaps it we can be good. Used to. Mm -hmm. And if you're called to this apostolate, it will be good. And maybe this apostolate and these volumes are the Lord's way of bringing meaning to it and sustaining people in this. Now, um, he ta they talk about abundance. And they say that in some cases, this great abundance has created a craving for more. A craving for more. Great abundance. Great abundance works from the bottom up. Someone in China, some of the people we saw in China would consider our poorest people mm -hmm. living in great abundance. Mm -hmm. So it goes from the bottom up. So we have to really reevaluate what we, what we need from what we want. Uh, he says, okay, do you have a safe place to rest and food to eat? And you're still worried about money? So if you have enough food and you have a place to rest, and you're still worried about money, he says, then you must change your standard immediately. Those are very strong words. He says, will you object when it's time to come from heaven? Will you say, oh, no, there's not enough material stuff up there. I don't have a, the right DVD up there. You know, mm -hmm. uh, he says, this isn't going to work. He's teasing us. But he says, excessive material goods are a distraction. It is good for all of us to cut back on our standard of living. No matter where we're at, it might be good for us all to give a little something away and offer it up. Yeah. This would be a good mortification, it would be good practice, and it won't possibly help someone else. So we really want to be generous to people who are st struggling. Mm -hmm.